Hello, Chosen One. During church this morning, the Holy Spirit gave me a message. And this isn't the normal way that I release messages, but I'm going to release it how I received it. Um, how I, like, I wrote it down after I received it. And the Holy Spirit said, this is your moment now. Fulfill your purpose, Andy. Nations are waiting for what I've put inside of you. The Holy Spirit. Be obedient. Be everything Jesus said you can be. And be led by the Holy Spirit. Now, I know this word isn't only for me, so that's why I am sharing it like this. And then after I came home, God continued to speak to me. And he said that we have put him back on his throne. And meaning as we have put him back first in our life. He's always been on the throne. He's always going to be on the throne. But he is first in our life, back on his throne in our life, if that makes sense. That he has turned the page. God said he is rewriting your story. That you have a book inside of you. And may all glory be to God Almighty. He said, you are not what the world has labeled you. God has a greater purpose and another use for you. And then again, double, double for your trouble. You will recover all. There will be complete restoration and it will be better than it ever was before. It'll be different this time. You have entered into a season of royalty, Esther. You have stepped into your calling and what has been ordained for you since the beginning of time. God is restoring things back to his original creation, his original plan and masterpiece. This is your season, my beloved child. And this, um, forgive me, Jesus. So I'm going to read this next part. Exactly how I wrote it down. Um, because I was letting the Holy Spirit flow. So I'm going to read it exactly how the Holy Spirit gave it to me because I was just writing as the Holy Spirit was speaking. So this is something that's um, new for me. But this is what the Holy Spirit said. The Holy Spirit said, this is your season, my beloved child. I am about to excel you into greatness, helping you to reach your full potential. You will do well. I love you. You are the apple of my eye. You will achieve many great things as you keep me on the throne and first in your life. Be obedient. The previous chapter has come to an end. You have done well. Do not be afraid as you embark on this new journey. I will be with you every step of the way. No eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard, and no mouth has ever spoken, and no mind has ever conceived the things that I am about to do with and through you. The things that are about to unfold in your life only I am can do. Victory is yours. This is your winning season. I have given you my perfect will and timing for your life. Each day is a new blessing. Cherish each moment as they come. I am proud of you. A transition has just happened. You have shifted into the right place. Now, it's time to flip some tables. Step out in boldness and faith. Stand for what's right. Stand for justice and be the voice the people need in this hour. Holy Spirit and God Almighty. And I just pray, dear Heavenly Father God, that who this message is for, that it not only reaches them, as I know you will get it to them, but that they grasp it, they receive it, and they step into everything that you have for them. That your Shekinah glory shines down on them. That not only do they love but they love well. They love unconditionally. They serve in love. That they're obedient in everything that you tell them to do in this season. No matter how big or small. And that you continue leading and guiding them down the path that you have for them. And I thank you for everything that you've done in this person's life. And I thank you for everything that you will continue to do in this person's life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Shalom.